the first change of venue of the week seeds us off to Haydock. Or a two mile six furlong novices chase. It's the junior novices chase, two and three quarter miles, and a top dark alert for Craig Beckwith, Irish agent Leon van Rensburg, world stage David Hooley, Casherel Martin I'm going for a three timer, decider Nebras, David Robertson, Latanza, Pioneer for Matt Cooper, Laura the Jungle, Joshua Sutherland, and Saint Hernando for Darren Thompson. An interesting looking race. Four of eight, and away we go. A very short run of the first, but didn't catch anybody yet. And Irish Agent is the first one to show. As they head towards the second, they've got 18 fences to take, which is quite a lot. As they get over the next two or three quarters, there, isn't it? Says that extra little bit from the two and a half milers. Most of these horses will probably have been trialed over two and a half or two five, or maybe. There are some three milers dropping down. There's a faller there. It's decided Nebras that's gone. So this intermediate distance can sometimes throw up a bit of a surprise. And it can also throw up a bit of a surprise for a trainer where he ends up getting himself a bit of a superstar horse that he wasn't expecting because his two and a half miler or his three miler suddenly excels at this distance as they get over the fourth a bit with the same with the two and a quarter mile races. The two miles and the two and a half milers coming together. And sometimes you get horses dominating there as well as they get over the fifth. And Irish Agent is in the lead. Uh, work out whether it's the slow two and a half milers or the fast three milers that are going to win this. Oh, fascinating races, these. Uh, Irish Agent is in the lead. I'm sure nobody actually puts a two mile six foot on horse in on purpose as they get over the sixth. And they're all over that one. Although some people may do. Irish Agent in the lead by about three lengths to St. Hernando who broke that run of falls last time in second I mean, got rid of the jockey three times on the trot ran a creditable fourth last week then comes the grey Latanza Pioneer on the outside of Cachoeira who's going through a, for a three time on the other races have been in pretty moderate affairs though as they get over the eighth uh, and Latanza Pioneer made a mistake there and has shuffled to the back the Irish agent is in the lead by four or five. St. Hernando second. Cacherel third. And Lord of the Jungle as they take the next. Uh, St. Hernando with one of his obligatory mistakes at that one. As they hit past the big screen. And the winning post. And we'll head out for another complete circuit of this Haydock track. Tracks that people are 100% sure where it is. Is it closer to Liverpool or is it closer to Manchester? I think it's probably changed counties over the years. Technically, it might be in Merseyside now. I don't know. I'll have to check these things out. Well, I'll decide to waffle about them during a race. But it was almost as they get over the 10th. An Irish agent is in the lead. On St. Hernando, second. And Cacherel, third. Nor the jungle fourth. And they get back to dark alert as they get over the 11th. The Tanza Pioneer, the grey, and finally the purple jacketed world stage for David Hooley. He's already had a couple of winners today, as has Joshua Sutherland. He's got the fourth place horse, Lord of the Jungle. And they get over the 12th. Leon's Irish agent in the lead. Leon opens his account this week. As yet, Casherell is in second. St. Hernando was trapped away there in third and going around the outside. Lord of the Jungle, these four are clear of Dark Alert. And Latanza Pioneer and finally World Stage as they get to the next. And the leading pair landed together there with Irish Agent being kept up to his work on the inside. Cashrell looks to be going well. Lord of the Jungle and St. Hernando next. They take that ditch. That was the 14th. And Cashrell just poking its head in front but coming round this turn. Irish agent by virtue of having the rail should come out of it in the lead. It's Irish agent Cacherel. St. Hernando looks to be going well then. Law of the Jungle after that one. Gap of four or five lengths into the back three. We're headed by World Stage. 
with Dark Alert on that one's inside as they take the fourth last at Irish Agents. Now got a lead of one and a half lengths again from Casual has been pushed along in second. St. Hernando is third. Law of the Jungle is fourth. Gap back to the rest of the way now. Headed by Latanza Pioneer over the final ditch. That's a third last. And his Irish agent is in the lead from St. Hernando. Law of the Jungle on the inside. Casual just hit a bit of a flat spot. Starting to run on his world stage. This is still anybody's race with two to jump. And it's Irish agent who's going to come to the second last in the lead. Gets over it nicely. St. Hernando over it in second. Then comes Law of the Jungle. Casual running on again in fourth. It's between these four. It's probably between the first three as they come down towards the final fence. Then now as St. Hernando's gone into the lead. St. Hernando in front at the final fence. Stood off it. Better jump by Irish agent on the inside. Law of the Jungle even better. The three of them virtually in the line. It's a head bomber. St. Hernando. Law of the Jungle. Irish agents beat him. It's going to be St. Hernando who proves that Darren Thompson horses stand up. They win. Passes the post in the lead. St. Hernando wins. Law of the Jungle. Second Irish agent. Third in world stage after that one. Dark alert ran on next. Casherell dropped away tamely didn't handle the step up in company and St. Hernando after a start a season of three falls is now in form St. Hernando for Darren Thompson the winner Law of the Jungle Joshua Sutherland the second Irish agent for Leon Van Rensburg third world stage David Hooley fourth and dark alert for Craig Beckwith was fifth